amazing St. George, Utah, where the Real Triathlon Squad is preparing to converge on this amazing venue. Why? So we can launch our team, start fresh in 2022, and show you all what it's really like to do what we do in this small scale as a team. So you're gonna see all of us really just having a good time. Uh, we're, we're a part of a team because it matters to have fun. So anyways, let's take a tour of this house that we're in that's gonna fit all of us for about eight days. And then I'll tell you what, it's pretty fancy. So tune in, you're gonna love it. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping out a while live. I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the cool. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my much shine shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. All right, everyone's been here less than six hours, maybe eight hours. And let's have a look at the state of organization and chaos. A little bit of mess here, no big deal. That's fine. Got some jackets, glasses. Oh, and then there's everything mm -hmm. everywhere. We got bikes laying around, groceries. half assembled. Cal? Camera gear. Groceries. Some groceries. Lots of groceries. It's all about it's all about balance. You gotta get so <laughs> okay. Solid. Um, more stuff. And let's check the garage where all the bikes and stuff are. See what's up in there. Oh, just all the bikes and we got a mixture of everyone. This is the stiffest pump I've ever teammate. Stiffest pump I've ever used in my life. Okay, done. That's what I have. That's yeah. what she said. No, no, it's not that bad, don't worry. Jackson's riding around with a disc during training camp because uh, he's out of shape. I need some help. Bottles for getting filled with the first one. Lisa <laughs> did her bike in four seconds. Yeah. And, did. and one. Garrett doesn't have a bike. Garrett made What's... Leslie's wheel. What are you doing, Leslie? I'm stirring the peanut butter because I don't like it when it's oily. Some oh. people don't mind. Nice. I like the oily part. I just don't like it at the bottom when it's all chunky. That's part of the goal. I just layer straight oil. No <laughs> butter. You just drink it? Yeah. Okay. It's important to look at the contrast of food choices that everyone has purchased what what would you say you bought all the vegetables pretty much yes okay jackson we bought a couple of vegetables um and lots okay. of buns muffins bread elbow pasta granolas chips leslie um, I, I bought a little bit of everything okay don't hover around the kale like with, <laughs> no i, I didn't <laughs> like, i got fruit i got pasta i got that Cake. That for everyone, <laughs> not just me. Yeah, got for some everyone. Candy. I got. I was like the mix. I got a mix of things. Yeah. Lisa, did you? Um, she was mixed. What did you get? I covered the simple sugars category. <laughs> Here we go. This is Lisa, Lisa's contribution. <laughs> Nerds. And the cookies. Cookies. Don't forget. Oh, we got echinacea tea. We did for no. immunity boosting. Yeah, cookies. because this, these times are trying. Well, out for our first ride. Jackson's already. Rip, use my disc. Rip me a new one on the disc wheel here. I got the gravel bike. Just taking all maximum resistance. How you doing, Lisa? Living the dream. This is where we're headed. Snow Canyon. Snow Canyon. So we have a really cool announcement for 2022. We are partnering with Jack Roo apparel. As you can see, this slick little design here, these really comfortable bib shorts. We're gonna be helping them design a very, very fast tri suit. It's almost done. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of them, a lot of cool patterns. We're super stoked on that. It's time for the first group swim of the season. We've got everybody here. We got a great pool. It's gonna be fun, question mark. Yeah, paddles here, man, that's sweet. Look at that. It's unreal. Dude, you look ripped on camera. Yeah, it's all, it's all me. Leslie, you got your shit? Yeah. <laughs>
you had a big season last season. Um, I did? Yeah. Get out of the shade. The shade's changing. Well, then you have to change. Just get that. Oh, jeez. All right, Jack. Second season um, on the real tri squad. How? So, what did you enjoy about the tri squad last year, and why are you back? Well, we had a really good time at all the camps, going to races together. Had some really awesome sponsors, and it was just more fun to be part of a group. And I don't know, you kind of feel like things are easier when you're supporting each other. So it was fun, and I'm stoked to be back and better than ever this year. Year two, real tri squad. Yeah, you were obviously a very big part in founding the team. So what what is the tri squad like? What does it mean to you to be on the squad, not only for your second year, but just as the squad in general? Well, I think we're evolving learning where you know where do we want to focus our energy where do we want to promote ourselves the most and first year we did a lot of learning and kind of I think we did a really good job of honing in on that and this year we're gonna focus a little bit more on promoting ourselves and YouTube the podcast and each athlete individually as well so I'm really looking forward to that part um, and Nick's got about 20,000 new camera gear and video gear items to use, so that'll be... Oh, what's with the driving here, Lisa? <laughs> Just about running in you. But it should be fun. We'll put, it all, we'll put it all to use this week with fancy lights and contraptions. It's yeah. going to be awesome. What are, you, what are your big plans for this season? I'm going to try to race all those PTO majors. Hopefully the Collins Cup again. And then have a really good race at Worlds. That's my primary goals for the year and uh, just gotta keep chipping away getting that slight level up improve one or two percent and you know try to move up all right and if you were at the grocery store and you had to buy one on brand grocery item on brand well, yeah if you had to splurge just a bit what would it be it'd be Fanta for sure pineapple Fanta that's right. the one it's only 50 cents extra so it's worth it all right, Nick, this is the second year. You're obviously um, one of the biggest reasons that this team has been such a success over the past year. And what do you think, why do you think that is? Well, we're all looking to do something different. We, we know the game is changing. We need to really offer more as a group to show the experience and to be relative to sponsors. So this team is just gonna keep growing once we keep getting more momentum so and plus we all love it we have a great friendship so someone has a bad day four others have a great day that's just kind of the best the best case scenario like what does this team mean to you i know you put so much effort into it so. well i don't know i mean i guess i just like working towards something lisa <laughs> um I just really like working with all the personalities and giving us all a platform where maybe otherwise we'd be a bit muffled. So to me, it's all about making sure each of us has a voice. We all are open to working together. So all the hard work and networking is worth it because this is year two, but year three and four are gonna be even bigger. So we're just like snowball effect. Awesome, man. So you had a huge breakout year last year. I would say you really nailed a lot of your 70.3s, really moved up in the PTO rankings. What are the goals for this year? I really want to get into the top 50 this year. Focus more on full distances since they were kind of an afterthought last year. Um, so I want to get back and taste the podium at a at a you know, full distance Ironman event and then get back to Worlds here for half distance since that's really, it's in St. George. We've we'll, got to experience that again. Last year was just amazing for that. So that's kind of the goals. And if you had to buy one on brand or one off brand grocery item, what would it be? Uh, I don't know if I could. <laughs> uh, maybe Red Vines versus Twizzlers, I don't know. How's that? So first year on the team, 
Uh, what made you commit to the team? What, commit to the team? Yeah, why'd you commit to the real triathlon squad? Uh, I thought it was a cool opportunity to collaborate with other athletes. And uh, I sort of knew about Jackson's planning of it a bit, and sort of seen how it had gone last year. And yeah, it, it just seemed like a fun opportunity to get a bit more deeply involved with the sport. I do a lot of stuff on my own all the time. So it's cool to sort of see what other people are doing and try to work with them a little bit. What are you hoping to get out of the team this year? Uh, I think like practically <laughs> a bit of help, especially with travel expenses would go a long way. I feel like I was breaking the bank to make COVID travel work last year a little bit. Um, I think um, trying to like improve my media game a little bit and Nick's really good at that, so it just seemed like a good, good learning experience there and um, having some people to coordinate with a little bit at races seemed like it would be fun, so sort of a, a mix, mix of those things. Who is Tamara uh, outside of triathlon? Uh, outside of triathlon, very... Um, studious and into like literature and stuff like that. I was thinking about it a little on the plane right here actually because someone gave me a book for Christmas that was sort of analyzing different short stories and I was realizing I hadn't had time for quite a while to just sit down and read. Early in my life I was literally the kid who would try to like sit in the corner reading during gym class so it's a little bit funny to be a pro triathlete. Um, so there's that. I'm just like enjoying, I don't know, family time at home. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. A little <laughs> bit quiet and likes being at home, <laughs> maybe. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Uh, I'm not sure I have one. I feel like it bounces around a lot, <laughs> and I like a big variety of different things. Um, recently, I was getting really into all of the old Spider-Man movies because I was excited about the new one coming up, um, which I then have not gotten to see because Ontario is shutting down theaters. <laughs> but uh, I don't think I have a favorite favorite movie. I like all sorts. All right, Leslie, you're back for a second year. What made you come back? Well, I really enjoyed being a part of the group last year. Triathlon can just be super individual and well, that's great and everything. You know, it just was kind of nice to be part of a group, kind of having goals together, being at races together. We all got along great. So yeah, definitely back again. Triathlon's a very individual sport. And last year, I feel like we went to a lot of races together as yep. a team. How did, like, how was that for you? I loved it. I, I just think it, you know, going to a race alone, I've done that plenty of times. I can do it, it's fine, but it's always, you know, nice to have friends there and camaraderie, do pre-work, you know, do pre-race workouts together, um, just go to the meetings together, just kind of the mundane things. It's always better to have friends. So that was super nice to kind of all be in it together. Uh, you had some great races last year. Which one was your favorite? and you felt you performed the best at? Uh, I would say my best race last year was Florida 70.3 in April, the Haines City race. I just kind of mentally and physically, I would say that's my sharpest race, just overall as a whole, all three combined. And I got a podium, so that's always good. What are you looking forward to this season? So this season, I'm looking forward to having a bit more of a, Full season approach. I think last year I just raced a little bit too much, had a bit too long of a season, and made a lot of the last minute decisions. And you know, a lot of those things ended up working out. I just think it wasn't as strategic as it could have been. And so I want to be a little more planned out ahead this year with my racing. If you couldn't train in Boulder, Colorado, where would you train? I would say if I wasn't in Boulder, it would be really great to train more in St. George. It's beautiful, it's, you know, nice pools, triathlon friendly town, it's, you know, great running and riding, everything. So yeah, I would say St. George, if just off the top of my head. Yeah.
What's your favorite dessert item? My favorite dessert item is probably, if I had to say, that's very difficult, is probably ice cream, just like a dairy. No coconut or almond. I mean, not that that's bad. I just, for same favorite, probably like a dark chocolate ice cream. Nice. And last question, when was the last time you washed your bike? Well, um, before Daytona, I wiped it down with Clorox wipes. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Garrick. Lisa, you are just one of the brand new members on Real Tri Squad. How do you feel about it? I am super, super stoked uh, for the opportunity to be part of a team with uh, five other awesome athletes and people. Really looking forward to a sick 2022. <laughs> can, you, can you run and talk at the same time? Not well. It's not easy to do. No. Um, so what was like, one of your best memories of 2021 that you want to like improve upon for 2022? One of my best memories in 2021 was probably at uh, Texas 70.3. I think I came off the bike in fourth place just behind, behind Sky. And that was like a huge confidence booster for me just to feel like I can ride with some of the best uh, cyclists in the sport. Is that your favorite part of the sport? Yes. Riding? Cycling is hands down the best part about triathlon. Hands down. Running is fine. Swimming is a necessity. But cycling, you get to go fast. You get to see so much. And uh, there's really nothing like it. So what are you most looking forward to about being on the team this year? I'm looking forward to creating some pretty cool relationships. I'm looking forward to laughing a lot, teaching everyone else how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and, and learning a lot from five other amazing athletes. I think that's one of the coolest parts about being on the team. Rocks are hard. You're doing good. I'm really working on trying to increase my cadence this year. Your running working, cadence? Yes. Is that a limiting factor for you and your races? Yeah, I, <laughs> Garrick and I were just talking about how we're not the most graceful runners. Um, and I just kind of have this big loppy style. I don't really, go gracefully across the ground it's you know when I'm coming so you know I'm working on using <laughs> use looking more like a a pretty runner in 2022 all right well we got your back we'll see you at a bunch of races and we're happy to have you on board I'm stuck to be here it's gonna be awesome Garrick look man how are you doing after a freaking double robotic hip surgery well, I'm out here walking, so really I can't complain. It's only been about a month, so I'm happy to be out here with St. George with the team, meeting the new team members. I'm super stoked for this year. What's your plan uh, for recovery? Right now, just slowly build back uh, week by week. I can do a little, little, little bit, a little bit more, and hope to be racing by the fall, late summer at the earliest. What are your goals this season? This season, uh, really, it's really focused on, on rehab, getting back into racing. But one thing I really want to do is just be competitive when I get in the race and uh, make stuff happen. You know, last season I, I couldn't really do much. Uh, I kind of felt handicapped and kind of like my hands were tied the whole season racing. So this time I kind of want to make a difference when I get into a race. So are you still stoked to be part of the team? I'm always stoked to be part of the team. Working with Nick and Jack on the podcast again, like so much fun. We get to meet great people and the team is just a good group of people this year. We're having tons of fun. Everyone is lively and happy to be here and I can't wait. Has anyone volunteered to give you a walker or anything or? To get me a walker? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have crutches, but 
I'm off them now. I just got off the crutches before coming here. All right, dinner round one. What's everyone eating? We got burglars. How's the burger? Uh, what's the burger medium, missing? Medium, medium, uh, it's mi missing ketchup. Who forgot ketchup? Well, I got groceries for Garrick. We got ourselves groceries, and then the next day she's mooching off us and telling us we didn't get good enough groceries. <laughs> Okay, Lisa, how do you feel about ketchup? Do you enjoy it? I really like ketchup. Yeah, is it like make the burger better? Yeah, because I don't like mayonnaise, so now I just have a patty and pickles. We got mustard. But who wants mustard without ketchup? Yeah. No one. Mm -hmm. I agree. But I like I like the green. Mm -hmm. I like the orange. Mm -hmm. I might have to add an orange. Jack, where's uh, the rest of your stuff? I'm gonna get my salad as uh, course number two. Okay, Lisa, well done. Tamara is uh, right, just working. I'm finishing up some work stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's confidential, Nick. You get it. Oh, look, people's, people's <laughs> legal <laughs> stuff. Nobody can read that fine print on a GoPro in wide angle. Don't do it. Don't worry. Here, what you digging in the pickles here with your fingers? Yes, sir. Nice. How'd your day go? She's, uh, she went all right. She's not done yet. Not done? What are you going to do? So, We're going to swim, swim after dinner, yeah. Second swim. And then I. Just crushed a bunch of tacos because I was dying. Needed food.